Hi, today we're gonna be talking about future funk remixes. Particularly the remix, the first ever remix that I made. Um, it is a future funk remix. Um, it's from the artist uh, Yumino Tsuki. Wonderful song. Here's a listen to the original. I'm in the editing stage right now and I just realized that the song is called Yumi no Tsuki and the artist is Moraya Takeuchi. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I say that wrong, but uh, just take note that I'm a f idiot. Continue with the video. Sample of the original. Well, I suck at grammar. Well, it doesn't matter. Today I'm going to be talking about how exactly I made this remix, um, what it consists of. Let's go! Okay, so the main part consists obviously of the normal sample uh, as it is. Let's take a listen. Obviously, the BPM for any future funk song should be 28, uh, one, should be <laughs> 128 BPM. I'm stupid. Yeah, uh, you can choose any funk song you want for if you want to make remixes yourself. Um, American style funk uh, works too for that, but I uh, chose a Japanese funk song because I'm a weeaboo. It's called Otaku, you f idiot. Read the damn manga. Yeah, so what you're gonna do is mainly cut out the part that you can loop. Um, make a verse out of it and then uh, do whatever you want to do. So my loop kind of loop is this one. And then it loops. For the main part of the song, of the main part obviously, um, most uh, people that make remixes uh, cut it up into some samples, just like, you know, making it uh, fancy and uh, kind of like future, f futuristic, I guess. I made the same here, uh, let's take a listen. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at what the bass does. The bass mostly consists of the same thing or the same stuff that can, uh, that is in the main part. Um, I personally just duplicated it and uh, completely deleted any high or mid frequencies so that it would sound like this. Basically, um, I would put a limiter as well, a limiter on it as well, because I want to make it a bit louder, and a compressor to kind of like chop out the big bass parts that I don't want to interfere, make it a little, um, l little quieter than uh, the main part, and you're good to go. Obviously, if you have um, a different melodic part, you are gonna be wanting to copy that and make it make a bass uh, out of that as well. But, um, the best example for that is right here in this song. So we have the normal one, and then we have this one. So basically, um, you can you can hear the voices as well, but that doesn't matter because it won't be bothering anybody. All right, now take a listen at our drums. The drums consist of an EDM normal house beat, so kick, snare, kick, snare, uh, hi hat. So basically, uh, the uh, the kick I um, split up from the normal drum rack so that I could sidechain everything. So the kick is basically just like this. Pretty boring, but with the hi-hats and the snares, it would sound something like that. Obviously you can vary that. For example, I make that. So it wouldn't be that 
boring. Furthermore, uh, at some percussion, um, I added the percussion where I want it to be, where I wanted it to be focused at. So basically the verse, I wouldn't do it, but the main part, uh, for example, when the drop comes, or the drop, mm, I would uh, put in these percussions. So that there wouldn't be any free spaces between the drums. If you take a listen at the drums, it would sound like that. Say hi to basically any EDM dance track there is. Obviously decorate all the parts you want with symbols or any kind of impact... The f*** was that? Any kind of, any kind of impact. Um, for example, I just use a symbol, a normal symbol from the Ableton stock sample samples. And you're good to go. There is nothing else in here uh, because that was my first remix, but you could um, also add in some instruments like trumpets, saxophones, anything that is kind of funky, anything that could make a spice, could spice it up. Uh, for example, I put in like a little glitter thingy. So uh, when I would hide past this intro, it would like, you know, it would sparkle a little. I also forgot uh, to mention that the uh, main part should be should have some automations, should have like you know some fluid movements to it, so that it would get wouldn't get boring. Um, divide all the main parts into like you know verse, then main part, and then maybe like something to you know something that you could basically end the song with. So for me, it was uh, yet another loop in the main part that is this. And yeah, that should be pretty much everything for future funk remixes. Remember, um, have the main part. You could also um, you could also filter it. You could um, EQ it. You could do anything to it, but just let it be uh, let it be how it is. Um, pay, put some glitches into it. Put some like you know these re uh, repetitions. Uh, One twenty eight BPM, obviously all the time. House beat. A uh, good base and you should be good to go. I hope you like that what I just did um, I really like explaining um, How I compose my music how I make my music in this particular particular case how I remix stuff um, This song is up on my SoundCloud um, Just give it a listen. I'll put a link link in the description and have a good day Be ready for new videos to come out Oh yeah, one f uh, thing I forgot to mention. Um, if you're uploading your Future Funk remix onto YouTube or any kind of streaming site, always, always, always put a stupidly easy vintage anime GIF, 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 in the video. Set it and set it to repeat all the time, all the time, all the time. Let's try it out.